This is Christina, and you're watching Custom Games. to stream i'm your host christina and tonight we're in a game that we have not played on this channel i think since the rebrand i could be wrong um, i'm gonna go ahead and tell you this game has never been played in my tenure with this channel oh <laughs> okay so it's been a while since we played this um <laughs> Of course, I am joined by the peanut gallery of Chase tonight, who's going to be uh, asking a lot of questions about the game so that I know what to talk about. Um, also, Boog, thank you for the resub for 35 months at tier one, saying almost furt. And then Cassie, thank you for the sub at tier one for 46 months. Um, how are you both tonight? Um, I know, Boog, you said you might be going to take a nap, or is that what you're doing, is taking a nap? <laughs> um, we'll be seeing Boog a little bit later tonight, along with Mike, uh, and Chase for Uno, starting at 9 o'clock Eastern, about two hours from now. Um, I like, did I get kicked out? What happens? No, no! <laughs> that said, we're gonna start off with a race, and just sort of get me warmed up in the game. Um, and I think we're going to start with the airport terminal because this was actually the demo level that shipped with Modern Warfare 2, um, at least on the PlayStation 3. I don't know what de what demos, if any, there were on the Xbox. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting ready to get out my walker here. Back in my day, you remember they used to give you previews of other games with the games that you got. <laughs> Um, and Chase, just for you, we're going to do this nice, pretty blue. What's the pretty blue? <laughs> and chat, you're going to have to let me know if the game is a little bit too loud. Um, I tried to balance the volume as best as I could. This game's just one of those weird ones. Can't <laughs> say so you've known I'm old for years now. Here we go. One thing I have always loved about this game is how clean the UI is. Yeah. No. Hold. Hold. You have a control tower to drop. Road switch. Okay, so what, are, what are the what are the little icons? And you blew up the air traffic control tower. So, this is Mario Kart, if directed by Michael Bay. Um, the general premise is win the race or score points. Some of these icons give you route switches or shortcuts. Um, blue is a level one. It takes one third of your power bar. Um, red is a level two. It takes your entire power bar. Um, I'm actually trying to earn a little bit more power here for the other route switch. We're not going to make it. <laughs> um, we'll pick it up on the next lap. Um, but basically the premise is you are on a movie set and this entire back lot has been rigged to blow and, um, in the story campaign, you basically run through eight, or I think it's 10 episodes of the show to try and become the uh, a new member of the split second elite. Ouch. <laughs> There's the Michael Bay. Ooh, okay, there we go. 
So in that instance, the blue and red meant I had both a level one and a level two available. Here comes the level two. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep drafting. And in that case, someone else triggered the uh, route switch. I didn't have to. Come on, give me the switch. There it is. Here's the other one. Now we're going through the parking garage. <laughs> now note, this game came out on Steam in 2010. This was kind of Actually, revolutionary for 2010. Two weeks. Two weeks from now, it'd be 14 years ago. <laughs> May 18th. I was just looking it up. There's the draft we want. No one behind me. Got a clear shot to the finish. This is a game that I have as one of the top five games I have ever played. And it is still a shame to this day that because of all the financial crisis and everything, 2008 through 2010, BlackRock Studios ended up getting shuttered as part of Disney's gaming wing getting eradicated to save cost. Yeah. And these guys set up the conclusion of this story as a cliffhanger for a number two. <laughs> Cassie, to your comment about you would feeling you feel like you would crash a lot. This is not a game you are good at day one. If you are good at racing in, in general, you'll pick up the game and run with it. But this is an arcade racer. The cars don't have weight behind them. They don't they don't have a lot of rocking and that kind of stuff. They are designed to be an arcade game, which is something that a lot of racing games have gotten away from, but is one of the things I miss about these games. Um, there's actually a game coming out eventually from uh, Chase, I was talking to you about the game last night. I don't know who the developers are. Um, but the game is essentially an open world arcade racer from the original people who headed up the Criterion Games, comp uh, the company Criterion Games, who made the Burnout franchise. Um, these devs went out on their own in like 2012 and have since done a few different games, but now they're doing an open world, build your own track, arcade racer. Three Fields Entertainment. The game is Recreation. Thank you. <laughs> um, I can't remember the name of it, but I remember how we got there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but those guys look like they are putting an awesome product together. I don't know what it's gonna look like when it's done, but it's one of those things that I keep seeing it. I'm like, oh, that looks so good. <laughs> um, but in the meanwhile, we have things like this. So in split second, well, in normal racing games, you have time trials. One lap around a course, try and get the best time. In split second, they morphed this into the detonator. Basically, every track has all those power plays around it. Detonator fires a very specific combination of the power plays every single time at the same timing to be on pace with the average lap time. So the detonator is literally you racing the detonator clock. Um, so in this case, I think for that map, we are probably, 
feel like it's either the canyon or the power plant. Because those are both spectacles. Canyon. Canyon? Yep. And we'll go with the Vulcan again, but this time I'm going for a nice bright orange to counteract all the dark colors on this map so that I can actually see my effing car. <laughs> Um, but no, you can play this map hundreds of times. The same power-ups will always go off at the same time. And you get to actually figure out how to adjust for them. Because every car handles shockwaves differently. That's the strength stat on the cars. Um, I am playing with one of the later cars in the game. The early ones are not near as fast nor strong. But, here we go. That door to my right is a shortcut, only available on second and third lap. There's the spectacle piece. And in a moment, you'll get to see it do its work. What was normally around the front of the dam is now through the dam. Damn. <laughs> um, is this the one where they also have the bridge drop? I can't remember. Yep, this is going to be the bridge drop. As you can see, you can see why it's why I call it um, Michael Bay directed Mario Kart. Yeah. Yay! Forgot about that one. Um, the last time I played this game was almost a year ago. And I have not done the detonators on all the courses. <laughs> the other way you can tell how well, how close a power up was to you is how much the screen and your car go nuts. Um, every car on a direct hit will get thrown. Uh, and your camera will get thrown with it. Um, in that case, I was behind or in front of a lot of the explosions. Um, let's see. Of course, the other main staple of racing is the elimination. And this one, the way you're eliminated is boom, right in the middle of the track. <laughs> oh. Um, let's see, what should I run? Um, I've got all the courses to work with. Uh, do the wharf. The wharf? All right. Oops. Uh, let's enable game mode just so that doesn't happen. <laughs> Sorry about that, stream. Did you just Windows key yourself? Yes, I did. <laughs> wow. And because this is, there's no borderless for this, it's only full screen uh when you windows key it it drops <laughs> oh god so i also love the afk where it just looks at the car <laughs> um oh, yeah. other neat thing you'll see decals on my car the people who have played this game a ton and gotten all the achievements have a thousand decals on their car the achievements are your decals also, the number is 93. Why is the number 93? The, the percentage of the game left to complete is what's on your car. Uh -huh. If if you're in online, 
It is the amount of points you have racked up over the course of all your online sessions. So the higher you've been ranking, the higher your number gets. Or the lower okay. your number gets. So yeah. the one is the top ranked person in the world, basically. Um, obviously, the online has been off for years. <laughs> um, but there is still a land mode. So with all of us on the VPN, um, if I eventually get Link to get it, we'll get, if we eventually get you a copy and we get Cassie a ca copy, land play is an option. <laughs> if we set up the VPN right. It should be low enough latency for that, but it is a software defined VPN and not a hardware right. defined one, so. Hard to say. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get back to... I mean, it's enough to keep a Stardew Valley game running, so... Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the elimination on Fairy Wharf. This is another one of my favorite tracks um, because the route switch on this is the ferry. And it is one of the few route switches that you can actually get a specific route if you time it right that you will not be able to get on subsequent laps, even though you haven't changed the route. Hmm. Because the map is actively changing as you drive over it the first time. Here we go. Guys, yeah, that's more down to a starting problem and not a network issue. <laughs> We're just gonna charge up power for the moment because this route switch is mean. <laughs> on average, you get about two laps on Eliminator. Okay, so now we are going on top of the aircraft carrier on this lap. Make note of you this. Almost did. You almost did. The game plays with almost more often than I'd like to admit. Jesus. <laughs> There's a reason it's called split second. Okay, other route switch that doesn't trigger a whole lot. Um, Eliminator is one of those few modes where I can actually pull it off. Oops. Thought that was more of a turn than I than it was. Ouch! <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna see where we loop back in. And now, last time we went over the aircraft carrier. Now the aircraft's carrier has bottomed out, and we are going to go through it. And that is the route for the rest of the race. <laughs> Left! That, that uh, bar that it drops, which is totally a rear axle for something, um, that rear axle changes which side it dips to every time, and you don't know it till it's moving. <laughs> which is, again, Ew. rude. <laughs> okay, I'm done drifting, except under extreme duress. This is one of those duress moments. Because now we just gotta play safe. I hear him behind me. Hey, Got yep. him! <laughs> there is an achievement you can get from Eliminator called Rope-A-Dope. 
if you are in last place and you manage to switch places with the next in line and cause them to get eliminated within, I think it's 30 seconds of the end, you get the achievement. <laughs> but yeah, this is a game that really gets the adrenaline pumping. <laughs> um, why don't we go back into another race? I'll show off another track and then we can talk about the other modes that I think really kind of set this apart. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take us into the storm drain, which shows you the other piece of the map that you haven't seen yet. Now I do say other piece of the map specifically. Again, the whole premise of this game is you're on a film lot. They only made so much. And all of these courses duck in and out of each other. Um, yeah. One of these days, I would love to get an overhead view of this map or even just map out the routes to see what this track would actually look like if you touched it all. But there's a section of this that you haven't seen yet, which is the storm drain and the power plant. So we're going to go through it during the daytime here. God, this is a bouncy course. I've got the wrong car. Oh no, poor train. <laughs> um, Chase, would you like to cause Chernobyl? Uh. Hmm? Hold, please. Feeling happy, hold, say. Ah, uh, they're not gonna let me do it. Nope. Okay, moving on. Actually, there's another spot we can do it with. Through here. Oh, God! That's fine. I'll set off the other half because then we can really crush it later. Um, do these go left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Uh, I forget which way this goes when it comes out of here. It's going left. Okay, this is the short route. So we actually don't get to cause the meltdown on this track. Don't worry. I'll uh, remind me to do the power plant. Okay. Stay and do the power plant. Later, remind me to do the power plant. Okay. Ah! Dump truck. That tank can roll down on the track. Hey, Christina. Don't even. Do the power plant. I will do the power plant after this. How about that? Okay. <laughs> That's like the fourth time since knowing you, I've set you up to have the handles conversation with me, and you've not done it. <laughs> huh? I've set you up like four times now to have the handles conversation with me and you've not done it. Handles? Yeah. Remember my fifth? He, ah! he tells handles to remind him later. Handles waits like the second and a half, tells him. And he goes, pick a random number between now and the end of time. And then <laughs> express that number in seconds, wait that amount of time, then tell me. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on, wreck, damn you! You're in a little coyote! Ha! Okay, where's first place? Oh, I'm gonna lose this one, because I don't even see first. 
Oh, there he is. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, Cassie. <laughs> okay, I will do the power plant. Um, I need to turn on my number one fan real quick because it's getting warm in here. Uh... Speaking of your number one fan, I have extensive updates planned for your home assistant tomorrow. Oh boy. Is it because I'm really behind or what? He's now on a stable path, and there's a lot of features that I'd really like to have for yours, including they now have that you can organize automations into folders. Nice. That I don't have to put prefixes on everything. Um, actually, to make sure that the nuclear meltdown happens, I'm going to do it on detonator. Okay. Because I know the detonator will do it. And Double. for this, we're going to switch the Cyclone Special, which was a DLC car that this mod that I'm using uh, actually brings into the game. Because originally, this DLC wasn't offered on PC, only on PlayStation and Xbox. Cassie. Huh, mine needs an update, too. Here we go with a detonator. Cooling tower dropping. Start off with a bang. I'm running slow. All right, we're better. That's much better. Left. All right, get ready for the meltdown. Cooling tower going down now. <laughs> Cooling tower going down now. <laughs> Why would you destroy all of those conning towers? <laughs> Damn it. Took the corner wrong. You broke it. Bingo. But that is the power plant. So at this point, you've seen all the major areas. You've seen the airport. You have seen the canyon. You have seen some of the city indirectly. Um, and you have seen the docks. Yeah. So now, as I start weaving through some of these other courses, take note of what you see. <laughs> um, that said, let's talk about some other game modes real quick, because this one has its own maps. So we do have to talk about this one. Okay. Survival is a game mode all about basically these giant big rigs dumping explo explosive barrels on the ground. Your job yeah. is to not hit the barrels. Boom. The longer you go, the more barrels that drop. If you hit a normal barrel, it does damage and puts you into the I might crash animation. You hit a red right. one, it's instant death. Three lives, you're out. Score as many points as you can. You score points by passing trucks. So, with that in mind, I think... Actually, I'll let you decide. Do we want Mine Pit, Storm Drain, Downtown, Warehouse, or Desert? Desert. Desert? Okay, I need a strong-ass vehicle. 
That'll do tornado. And just to emphasize what we don't want to hit, the red ones. <laughs> Eesh. Here goes. Dropped a red one right on top of me. <laughs> so you can see how the two barrels affect you. And now. This course! Okay. These turns are really tight. Also, when that timer expires, uh, all the barrels are red. <laughs> I get a bonus of time. That's gross. I get a bonus of time every time I pass a truck. So it's in my best interest to keep passing them. Obviously, the longer this goes, the more deficit you're going to hit, so the time does decrease. <laughs> Damn it. That's it. Three wrecks. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, it's not. It's. Oh, you're losing time. That's why. Now you're in sudden death. All barrels red. baby. Nope. Ooh. <laughs> and that's it. Jesus. But this isn't the only explosion-based game mode. Chase like boom. The other two are known as Airstrike and Air Revenge. The first half of the story, this freaking helicopter is shooting at you. And you get to do nothing about yeah. it but dodge them. Second half of the mode, you get to fire back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with airstrike so you can see what that looks like and then we'll add how to fire back <laughs> uh let's see what do i want to run mm, port bridge okay Okay, for this one, I want something nimble and quick. I don't necessarily need strong. So let's go back to the Vulcan. And here we go. Here's our helicopter. And here comes the sound that haunted me. The beeping. Oh, 
this is the rude one. The one you can't see. Nope. Okay. Damn it. Nope. Come on. Ah! Damn it. That was right on the line. Okay. You'll also notice it closes the pattern the further you go into the strike to force you to have to take different lines so you can't just go straight through it. My question always was, how is that helicopter carrying all that ordnance? <laughs> you've heard of the clown cartridge, Perk. Huh? So you've heard of the clown cartridge, Perk. Oi. more okay <laughs> there's the wave <laughs> the waves are gonna get more desperate and closer pattern to try and knock you out this is one of the higher for this is one of the higher multipliers I've, I've gotten oh it was there okay Almost should have seen that coming. Now that's not fair. <laughs> Damn it, there it is. <laughs> The helicopter got angry. <laughs> now, someone crafty early on in the game's life cycle had the bright idea, what if you just lay on the brakes and let it shoot? The game will no longer give you points for that and says too slow. <laughs> that lens flare is mean. That's it. Okay. Respectable score. Now. Would you like to get back at the helicopter? <laughs> well, yeah. He's not allowed to shoot at us. This is America. <laughs> Lol. Ready? <laughs> okay. Where would you like to be? Uh... Do the bridge. The bridge again? Yeah. That's the one we just did. Yeah, I like that course. Okay. So now, for every wave I dodge, and as I am sliding and everything, 
I am filling my power bar. And instead of triggering power plays, I trigger retaliatory missiles. Yes. <laughs> when the helicopter is out of health, we win. You always okay. want to save up to a to a full power play if you can. You never want to do the early ones. So as soon as I get the red bar, I'm shooting back. There's a health bar cut. <laughs> the advantage of getting hit in this mode is it triggers drift. <laughs> He get hit. Yeah, it did take his health off. He's at half. Two more volleys from me and he's out. There he goes. Final run. Got him. Yay. You can see how that would be very cathartic after you've spent the first half of the game having to run away from this bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So at this point, you've seen all the game modes. What do you want to see played? Yeah. I don't know. Well, while you think about it, let's do another race and we'll do it on the expressway. Cause this has a route switch that is kind of unique. <laughs> um, but all the route switches are kind of unique. That's the point. They are the set pieces of these tracks. I give you a hint. Choo choo, motherfuckers. <laughs> Damn it, Cassie. I like train. Cassie's, I like train. Oh, Jesus. Any chance? <laughs> so, Chase, you'll remember that from my test game. And you'll also, rem and uh, chat, you're gonna wanna take note of this area. This is not the first time, nor the last time you'll be seeing this area. Come 
Come on, I need a little bit more power. I need a little bit more power. Got it! They also do these awesome instant replay videos. <laughs> That stuff can drop on you. <laughs> That's weird. I might need to bump it up to hard difficulty. I'm kind of running these uh, AIs ragged. <laughs> oh, look, a challenger. How shall I fuck him up? A tanker? Or that dump truck. <laughs> dump truck. Nope. <laughs> oh, you wrecked yourself. Forgot the pattern. It's been a while since I've run that. Helicopter timing, baby! Got him! <laughs> there is also an achievement for winning a race by a tenth of a second or less e. um it's a it's a title drop for the game the uh, achievement is split second okay <laughs> excuse me oh chase you know that uh local place i go to where i get uh, that local cafe I go to. Sandwich shop. Cheesy garlic bread. Yes. I had him try something with me today. It worked so good. Oh. On the cheesy garlic bread, we added his sandwich pepperoni and his sandwich salami. Uh. And toasted it. And he did little bit, like he chopped them up into bits and then just sort of sprinkled it over the top. Ooh. Oh my God, that was good. <laughs> um, Let's see, let's do a detonator and let's get used to the track that I never got used to, the quarry. This is a track that n I never got on PlayStation when I played it. Um, yes, I used to be a PlayStation snob. Um, I got out of PlayStation uh, when Little Big, well, when PlayStation 4 came out. Um, I became a PC snob after that point. <laughs> mm. But um, this is a track that I never actually got to play until it came over. Chocolate donut popcorn, Cassie? Yeah. I did not see this. <laughs> Cassie, that company that I got the popcorn from makes a Sour Patch Kids popcorn. There's a company I used to buy popcorn from in Louisiana. Oh. Did not know that where made, that was going. That made watermelon popcorn. A watermelon popcorn, you say? Yes. Yes. Oh, the arms are moving back. Okay. Ooh. 
food. Ah, uh, Drag yeah. lines? Okay. He was delicious. Uh, pass it, pass it. Thank you. The one interesting part about this track, I don't think there's actually any overlap with the main course. This DLC seemed to be 100% original. Or, if there was overlap, I couldn't find it. Oh, watch that edge! Okay. Then again, I need to see what the front route looks like. I will take a look at that, Cassie, between the two streams. Because a reminder for chat, we will be in Uno starting in about an hour. And it's going to be a true chaos crew. <laughs> uh -huh. um, why don't we do an actual race here in the quarry? Okay. Because this is a track I don't get to run enough. Because it's not even part of the story because they didn't want to lock out the story behind the DLC. That makes sense. You know, back when game companies had integrity. I mean, what? What? Oh, oh, oh. What? Don't get me started. What? <laughs> See ya, Cassie. Oh, wait, Cassie's not here to talk about it. <laughs> Cassie's eating? Let's stare at her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's level two. Oh, the car hack! <laughs> I love arcade racers. Ooh, shortcut for free. <laughs> for free? For free. Off the edge with you. <laughs> you know, that's something we could do that I hadn't thought about for stream. No. Oh. For single player Saturdays. Okay. I could pull out my emulator and we could do burnout, takedown, and dominator, and revenge. Those would be long-running games. Yeah. Huh. I'll keep that in mind. All right, let's trigger the route switch this time. Let's see how far back I need to be to... Oh, it's all the way back here. Oh, look at that. Drag line! Damn it. Those drag lines are rude. <laughs> and those are a one power. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so that's how we got back on the main course. Okay. I understand now. Ah. Uh. Missed. Okay, these AIs are playing better. It's like they woke up. <laughs> you know, that's another drag line. 
What are the odds that that's a route switch? Where would it even come out at? Oh no, that's the same. Wait. Okay, now I'm getting turned around. That may have been the same digger from the route switch. Can't tell. Oh, you guys just keep getting rocks, huh? Okay, so you're a reload. That's an always on, but not as powerful. That's a one time. Dump truck! Nope, I'm second, not third. I will not be third. Okay. <laughs> oh. That's a stressful course. Um, I'm gonna hit that course one more time. Because I, I want to see if I can learn it. Okay, is that the same digger? It is. Okay, so the head that we saw here shouldn't do. Well, actually, it might. Because if you flip it one way and then. Oh. Yeah, that actually might be a thing. Okay. I need to save some power for lap for the for early lap three. Nope. Ah! Oh, I was in front of it. I was too close to the edge. Bucket wheel digger. I salute thee. No oh, shit. Okay. Sorry, I get musical when this shit happens. Okay, one. And he got me. Damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. Out of the rocks. Thank you. That's fine. You get to be the unfortunate sacrifice for this potential second route switch. I've got the power to do it now. Let's see if there is one. There was! That looked too real! <laughs> <laughs> 
That's good visual design right there, where you just know to expect it. Oh, and it comes out of the buckets. Ooh. That's actually kind of cool. We basically cut off the whole front half of that route. power to catch you, damn it. Oh, well. Oh. That at least... Oh, wait a minute. Got it! Wreck, damn you. Wreck! No! <laughs> well, the one I wanted to wreck kind of wrecked, and then another one got past me. <laughs> um... Okay. There's another one we gotta play, and it's the construction site. Um, I'm more than I'm gonna do a detonator on that one because the setup for how to get this to work is annoying. <laughs> okay. I present the construction site. A yellow for a caution yellow maybe that works all right here we go welcome to the construction site some of this area you're gonna remember seeing <laughs> This is where the dump truck flies through. It's now sitting over there. It has a second motion that you see there. Oh, shit. On an expressway, we go right. On this one, we're going left. That building comes down. We go this way. Damn it. I missed the gate. <laughs> there it is. The normal route's underneath of us. This is the shortcut of all shortcuts. <laughs> and it's just open if you know how to find it. <laughs> oh. And because it's so dusty from the explosion, you normally can't see. Recognize these buildings? their own button. Yeah. Ah. Uh, but getting that building to drop is how you get the crane to fall. Okay. The crane dropping is a power is a is a 1 followed by a 2 followed by a 2. Oh. It takes three laps to do it. Unless okay. you've got a whole lot of people who have stored up power that can just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay. There are ways to do it, and it has been done sometimes to me. <laughs> La -mow. Um. Let's see. What other maps have I not shown? Oh, we can do the dry docks because I know we haven't done that one yet. And let's go to a white, nautical white, <laughs> navy white. Here we go.
these containers will slide back and forth. There's that bus. There's that truck. There's that excavator. There's that truck. There's that tanker. This highway is just dangerous. Oh, and there's the helicopter. Left is where you go for the uh, port bridge. There's two ways to go here. I always like doing this way. Um, this is actually a double switch. Um, we can send this one on a mission in a minute. Uh, these tanks will explode. Shortcut! That's a tight timing one. Hey, that tanker will go. There's another switch. There are three switches on this map. Triggering them all is difficult if you don't have a car that'll drift. Okay. Oh, remember this area? <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh. That was a two. But to show you how far the AIs are behind, I'm still in first. They barely saw me. Um, okay, so the first one dropped that thing on the ship, which allowed us to go through it. This one, we're sending it out to sea. Bye, ship. Thank you. Oh, three laps. <laughs> I accomplished way more than I thought in two laps. <laughs> okay, well, the ship's already in the water, so that can't hurt me. I'm trying to think of what level twos are still in play. So that crane can go. Case in point. That tanker can go. Helicopter can go. Why am I calling them? <laughs> You're gonna have to stop it. <laughs> okay, I didn't call that one, but it still went off. So it ain't me. Warning, gravitational anomaly coming in T minus 15 minutes. What, Mike? <laughs> Mike, you shouldn't talk about yourself that way. Moving on. How are you, Mike? That's a fun course to run. <laughs> um, technically, the airport has three. You only got to see two of them. Do we want to try and get the third? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm going to switch the difficulty to hard. Okay, so my you, you took Jen's muffler off. Are you in, like installing a fart can or are you doing some other repair? I was going to ask about that, but I kind of forgot, Mike. I apologize. <laughs> oh. What? What? Oh, y'all got salt. Belt. Never mind. Rust belt. <laughs> yeah, so literally as soon as I was going, ha! I was like, oh, yeah, salt. Yeah, rust. Duh. 
Okay. But I want to try for... T uh, we're going to try for two in a lap if we can. Also, this entire terminal can go off. Hence the reds. Well, that's rude. Okay, here it goes. One. A close. We might get a free one. Yep. <laughs> you hang close to it and there's a chance. Thanks for the drift. All right, here's power play number two. You've seen both of the ones I have triggered before. This is two. So this is the parking garage. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for lap three because I don't have the power. Even if I hadn't spent that, I don't have the power to drop. Actually, no, I might. We've got this drift corner. Keep chaining. There we go. That was a good one. Oh, you do not want to be there, bud. All right, ready for three? This is the one you haven't seen. Do it. I wrecked an entire town? Sorry, we have a town called Mansfield around here. <laughs> so, this is the whole new area. This is the baggage claim area. And then, or not the ground, that's the ground handler area. And now we're back on the runway. So again, we've cut the whole front half of this map off. That's good. Get through, get through, get through. No one got through behind me. Four and a half. Mansfield is what happens after it rains men, says Mike. <laughs> there we go. So that's the three power-ups for Airport Terminal. Okie dokie. Oh, God, I love this game. But you can see how I kind of held my own against even that difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, we're going to do a detonator. Chase, you're picking the course. Uh, do power plant. go welcome back to the power plant this is I think the only area of the map that you actually get to see it two different types or times of day because you're seeing it at night now and in storm drain you see it during the day behind you're on time now okay it's amazing how much time you can pick up just by driving smart this game is actually what taught me some of how I race Suddenly, your driving style makes so much more sense. What do you mean? I'll say nothing further. 
No, no, you can't leave it there. <laughs> oh, I guess I can watch. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> what is it? Can't see the title on my phone. Mike, this is Split Second. This is a game that came out um, under Disney as a publisher, uh, published by BlackRock Studios in, well, it came out for Steam 2010. It came out for Xbox and PlayStation at least a year before that. Chase. Uh, give me a second, I'll look. Mm -hmm. But this game is literally Mario Kart directed by Michael Bay, and I love it. <laughs> um, well, let's do another detonator, and I'm going to put us on the airplane graveyard. Uh, Windows, PS3, Xbox 360, iOS, 18th of May, 2010. PSP on the so 17th all, of November. all three came out at the same time? Uh, PlayStation yeah. and Xbox 360? Uh-huh. And iOS, apparently. <laughs> Interesting. Hello, Cheeb. Ain't explodey splurdy, no. Oh, there's the explodey. That's another one that's a multi-stage. You drop each of the legs and then you drop the bridge deck. And that's a one, a one, and a two. This gas station you can drive straight through even though it exploded. You just get a little toasty. Train car, go right. Excavator. Kaboom, kaboom. No. Oh, the kabooms are on the next line. That's right. The planes explode. Kaboom. Ka oh, it's not kaboom, kaboom. It's kaboom, that tower. Okay. And then that fuselage is going to get dropped. What was a crane, Mike? <laughs> I had an, I saw an airplane fuselage, or no, you're talking about the sweeper. It may have been, I don't think it was. I agree it doesn't move like one but I'm pretty sure that's a modeled after an excavator. Um, there's one good way to check. Downtown Central. Because Downtown Central, I can get you right next to it. Also, you get to see another route switch <laughs> that we haven't Ex exhibited yet. I give you a hint. It's in front of me. Okay. 
You are correct. It is a crane with an excavator bucket. Not an excavator. Honest is being fully honest, I don't normally look at it. <laughs> Dump truck. switch to end all route switches. Has its own sound effect and everything. Or like musical sting. <laughs> I Oh, not good. Way out of pattern. are performing better now. Drop the roof! Another two-parter. Holy fuck! They're ahead. You have to have a line of sight to the car to do it. first. I'm not catching first. No way in hell. You can believe it. You can achieve it. No, no, I can't. Four and a half is too much with that little bit of course left. Welcome, Mike. <laughs> hey. Go to another eliminator. Chase, I'll let you pick it. Decision paralysis help. Mike, pick a track. Storm drain. Let the eliminator on storm drain commence. Not really underground, Mike. This is an above ground storm drain. <laughs> This is kind of like the L.A. River. Oh, these AIs are playing better. Okay. Make them have to fight. They're triggering a lot against each other now, too. Oh 
almost got me on that one. All right, let's make distance. Hey, power plant, hello! <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! So I've got level two, they've got level two! Shit. There's the other half. Saw Blades of Doom on that one. Crane arm is safe. Helicopter is safe. Oh, marginally safe. Damn it. Give me power, give me power, give me power. Drop it! Got him! <laughs> There's been once or twice where I've triggered something like that. Um, dropped the person to last place and they were instantly eliminated. Like you'll see, wrecked Armstrong. Armstrong has been eliminated. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Oh, we're too close for comfort. Oh, God. Oh, God. Got him! Ten to go! <laughs> that should be rope-a-dope. Let's see if I got it. Come on. If I didn't get it already, that is. I may already have the achievement. I can't tell. I'll have to check after stream if I've got rope -a dope or not. Or if I missed it by a second. <laughs> Wall, Mike. <laughs> and... I am excitable because I love this game. <laughs> um, Uno is going to be an interesting experience. <laughs> uh, let's see. How about another Air Revenge and we'll play on the quarry? Okay. Get nimble. Let's be quick. Oh no, Mike. Too slow? I was taking the corner. I, I'm, I'm aware, but I'm not doing it on a level one. Why are you giving me tutorial text again? No! Damn it. Right on my tailgate. Uh, boom. This track is mean with this mode. Welcome back, Cassie. Let's 
take some damage off of you. Thank you. Two to go. And around the corner before the next volley. Nice. Kaboom. Gross, Cassie. What's the gross? Ranch. Ugh. And game. Okay, so Mike and Cassie over in that corner. <laughs> uh -huh. Cool kids will be over here in this one. Exactly. Hmm. Not, let's do the canyon as a race. See, I'm of the opinion that not all ranch is good as in no ranch is good. Exactly. <laughs> Chase, you and I are on the same page on that one. So this is the normal route on the dam. Don't ever drive on the grates. Or near the edge. <laughs> oh, Mike, you can... Your blue cheese? Blue. No. No. Blue cheese, no. Hey, you're gonna recognize this bridge? Ah! Damn! These AIs are playing for keeps. Wow! You know, the whole night. AI's not tough enough. AI needs to get tougher. Hey, I'm okay with this. This is what makes the game good, is the game is actually fighting me. I'm gonna really hate when I trigger the, uh... Damn. Here it goes. Right. There. These electrical connections can be fried. Safe. Okay. Thanks for the free. <laughs> You're gonna wish you hadn't done that. Missed. <laughs> okay, rock slides are a one-off. Got him!
secret tunnel! <laughs> Through the mountain! Secret, 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 secret tunnel! Four point one. They've got some work to catch me, but they can still do it. There's they are. There's they are. There they are. Okay. Close, 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 close. Do not let me be under this if it falls. Thank God. I realize I set up the other the ex, the drop, but don't let me be under it. <laughs> oh, they're trying. They got nothing on this last stretch other than the helicopter. I would love to do this multiplayer though. Like if, if we could figure out a, a land solution that works. Yes. Um, no. If you time them right, Cassie, it is more like 95 to five that you will survive. So VPN's an option, Mike, but it's gotta be good because there's going to be a whole lot of data sending peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, I've tried it with a couple of VPNs and it didn't work, but the zero tier that we're now on for some of my stuff might hold up. Um, but I think you can put up to eight people in a race. Like It'd be super fun to try and get the Chaos Crew in on, a ra on these races. Um... One downside about this, you do have to play the campaign beforehand so that you have the vehicles to play with. Um, just for fun, I want to do the detonator on the airport so you can see what the airport detonator feels like. I've never found the save location, Mike. Um, it's not out of the question, but I have not found it. All things we can look at eventually. But I would also want you to play the story so that you're familiar with the tracks. Fun fact, in the uh, demo version of this detonator, that airport terminal went off. In addition to the rest of the level twos. Left wing! Engine. Okay. By the way, if you don't recognize it, that, that was a clip on our intro for the longest time. <laughs> In fact, it might still be. Uh-oh. What happened? I just the message I got. Cassie, you say that there's not much of a community. I'm running on a modded copy of the game that got us all the extra DLCs. There is somebody who just built a version of the game that allows us to create our own game modes. If I pay the if I pay for the coffee, uh, Kofi rather, um, I can actually get that version and see. There are still people supporting this game and loving this game. Um, page to chase for him to work his magic. Oh, God. 
Yeah, Mike sent me a link and said, uh, hold on, let me, I quote, go do your think, my man. Do your Demit thing. <laughs> but he oh, said no. think. What's the thing? Uh, this time about a, a way that some people are using uh, v, uh, VPN to do it. Nice. And if and if they're using our admin and our admin's working, then zero tier would work. Nice. And Cassie with a pasta chicken hydrate. Thank you, Cassie. Also, the do your think was on purpose, apparently. Okay. <laughs> No worries, Cassie. Wow, you did a hydrate and then didn't have water? <laughs> ah, Mike. You is the brains here. I'm just the flubber. Flub my owl. Do another race. And this time... Let's do it. Where do we want to go? Oh, let's do the race on construction site and see if I, if working alone, I can try and get this building dropped. Because I don't remember the exact pattern anymore. I just know it usually took you all three laps to do it. Ah! That was close. No. No. And... Now! Okay, that's one. That has leaned the building over. Oh no, Mike! Like, if I didn't know that was something, I'd say he just typed out my process of sneezing. <laughs> Including the in the eye? Yes. strong enough to withstand that. I was on the wrong spot. Okay, we have enough power. Let's see if I can drop the second part of the building. Come on, come on. Okay, that drops that, but we haven't dropped the tower yet. But what's the no. tower? Oh no. What is happening? Mike says, OMG, I want sour cream for mascara right now. <laughs> Sounds good, Cassie. stored up and I'm keeping him in front of me because I'm pretty sure I have to trigger it on him. Now the question is, is it a one or a two? It's been ones so far. It's a one! Oh, but I missed it! No! Okay, well that's fine. But there's the tower. So it's a triple one, but there's timing in between that you have to wait. That's why it works better with more people because more people can come in behind as the group spreads out and keep hitting it. Yeah. Only a second ahead. Oh no. <laughs> it's 
tight, wide, jump. I'm ready to launch a volley if they go after me. Nope, not happening. All right. Oh, do we have any ideas, Boog around? Uh... So I was gonna say, I can keep going for another 15, but if Boog's around and wanting to, we could start Uno a little early. Well, I mean, we, we've also got to give Mike time to on fireproof his eye that is also or to fireproof his eye and that is also fair up and up up um let's do an airplane graveyard because i know we have not raced on it we've only detonated okay my eye is self-hydrating i'll be okay copying files for chase slash christina oh no Oh, is it a file? Is it files that we know nothing about? Well played. <laughs> no! Damn it! Bridge! I hear you behind me. Where are you at? Behind you. Left or right, 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 left or right. Which way are you going? I'm gonna go through. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, you know what? Train car. I got him. Weeper Crane. Exploding tank number one. Exploding tank number two. Aha! <laughs> plane, plane, power, fuselage. That plane, that crane. <laughs> I'm also going to take a quick moment while the bathroom's open before someone else runs in Go. there to use it before we swap over. I'll be back. Oh, God. Can they see me? They can't see me. Can they see me? Yep, they see me. The gap is closing. Power's coming down. It's going down. I'm in timber.
All right, what do we want to do? Ooh, I know what I want to do. We're going to go to season. Oh, this is the profile where I've got nothing. Um... We restarted. Do I have any other profiles? Oh, I don't want to switch that out now. Um, all right, let's do one more. Oh, Jesus, Mike. West Wing could be interesting if you found that. Not sure if you have it already. I haven't. Chase was just spouting off names he saw. West Wing had its moments, Cassie. There are some actually really good moments in that show. Um, Suits, I know, had some good stuff, too. You know, proper daytime television. They had some good good writing, some meh writing. Double. Guys are playing for keeps. Damn. know that power play now it's amazing how the different difficulties play how many how much power they stack up and how many power plays they know how to trigger Close to the chest. You are being tailed. Need clean air. Come on. You don't have to worry about it, Mike. That was one of those that I saw as like, hmm, 
That'd be interesting. I've been watching clips of some of this stuff again. Gotcha, Mike. Okay. I think we're going to take a five minute or so break. When we get back, we will be in Uno with the Chaos Crew. Um, that said, thank you guys so much for watching Split Second. YouTube, we will see you guys in the next video. Twitch, we will see you guys in a moment. Bye.